Welcome back. So I just want to give you guys a brief thing on modifiers because I've seen a few people who end up with a customer class like this and they're like, I can't find my class anywhere. Why is it not working? So when they try to get the class inside programs, notice right here, it actually can't find the customer class. It's not available anymore. And the reason is, if you go back to the custom right here, if you do not declare an access modifier right here, then automatically the modifier is actually internal. So that means that this class is fully available, but only inside the current project right here. So inside the current namespace, that's also how you could put it. And that means that if I add other classes in here, it would be, the, it would be there again. But notice this guy can't find it either because that's inside another project. So that's why if you have a blank customer like this that just says class customer, you won't be able to access it from the outside. It's only accessible inside this project. Even though you have a dependency on the project, this guy is only for internal use and that's why you have the internal keyword, right? It's only for internal use in the current prop, uh, project. But if you make it public, like this, it will actually be um, possible to grab this guy from the outside as well. So I just wanted to add that. I know it's a simple thing. It's something that most people already know, but still, it's kind of annoying that you can't find your class because it wasn't public and automatically .NET says, okay, then it must be an internal class. The other thing is, of course, the other guys down here, we're making them public here as well. They can also be internal if it's something that we only want accessible inside the current project. They could also be um, private if it's something we only want inside the current class. They can also be protected if it's something we only want acceptable, um, accessible in the current class and people who inherit from this class. So those are actually the four modifiers that you'll end up using in a program and of course, the reason we want to use them is to make our program um, as we, we want each class to be its own little uh, unit and we only want to share stuff with the outside world if we want to share it, right? So we'll always encapsulate things using these different modifiers. So that's modifiers for you. It's very simple, but I've just seen this happen so many times. I just wanted to add it. That's just annoying. If you start a class and you forget to put public, it will not be available even though you do have a dependency for the class. So if you want to dive more into modifiers and a lot more from .NET, uh, these different frameworks, you can go and check out this link right here. And there you have a link called modifiers. And there you have all the different things you can use on classes. Later on, we're going to try and use an abstract class We'll try and use the new keyword. You already used that a few times. Read only. There's a lot of things static. We're already using that. I want to get rid of that now. Virtual will come back later as well. So we'll start using a lot more of these different modifiers that are available. There's also information about statement keywords, method, parameters, blah, blah, blah. So you can really go in and dive into the different keywords that Microsoft provides for you. And um, that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.